Hey everyone, welcome to Junior Coding channel. So here I upload only Vital Junior projects. So if you like means please like, share and subscribe. Next one, variable score is equal to zero. Text size for text font, text size. So we will be asking what is score. Why we are using score? What is text size? What is text font? What is text style? This is nothing but we are calling a score to write a score, right? And for the score size, we are giving as 30. And text font, I'm giving a snap ITC. Why I give snap ITC? Because it looks so very beautiful. I love this. Even you can give this name as algebra, some, some uh, more things are there. You need to find this means go to paint tab or any uh, paint tab. You can go and search in the paint tab. So in that there will be so many fonts. Or even you can go and search even in the, the Google also. Let's okay. Variable fruit group is equals to create group. Variable monster group is equals to create group. You'll be asking what is this fruit group and monster group? Why we are creating these groups? I will see this for this best answer in just one line okay very short answer so variable food group is equal to create group now we are creating sprite right because it is that each one one we are just creating one we are just creating only one we are just creating only one background like that but in uh, if you see means in monster or food group there will be coming so many fruits, so many monsters, right? It is coming only randomly, right? So for that, we are going to create a very easy method. So we need a group. So in the group, we can just create a random in just few five lines. Few lines or five lines or six lines or seven lines or any line. Next, variable game over is equal to create sprite 200, 200, 400, 400. Game over set animation game over. Game over dot visible is equal to false. So guys, uh, one minute. You guys look carefully at the last number. I'm gonna touch the monster. Please be careful and see. Okay. When I'm touching the monster, the background will change as to game over see now one two three over so game over background is like this so i have gave false why because in the plague state it should not come right only in the end state when you're touching the monster at that time only it should come right so for that i go to okay so next one function draw we are gonna insert in function draw what is function draw we have to draw all the sprites in that only so background color i'm giving as yellow why because the background will be in yellow color it looks so beautiful i will say at the last okay it is a it is an also having a reason why okay next one if game state is equal to is equal to is equal to play. Before saying this one, I will say you one thing. What is if else? In this game, we are using if else statement like condition. We are using if else condition. If uh, okay, if and else. Do you know what is that? Okay, leave that. Thing. I will teach you. In toolbox, where is the if else? Uh, in toolbox, in which tool it will be there? In group, or sprite, or drawing, or map. I know where it will be. In the control box. So, it's here. But in the variables, no. It will be only in the control box. So, we know about for if and if else and everything okay so 
if else we'll uh, let's see the example for that okay if else statement the uh, it is in the category of control so in examples they have gave the examples this is the example for them like uh, they have just given an example okay then um like um okay we'll see the syntax because syntax is the main thing and we are gonna use this so what is syntax syntax means the condition okay syntax in syntax see if condition statement one else statement two in if condition uh we are writing own condition and statement one what is statement one you'll be asking any uh, i will be saying one thing in this two any one will be working randomly in this two any one will be working randomly okay in else also same same thing only any two will be working in statement one we have to write one statement in statement two we have to write one statement two okay so this is thing okay so leave this thing We'll go to next one. So let's start. So if game state is equal to is equal to play. In if uh, I'm using play, in else I'm gonna use end. Okay. So if game state is equal to is equal to play, console dot log game state. Console dot log means you know what is console dot log. Okay, that you know, I'll also say for that in very easy method. Okay, just say console dot log where it will be. Say me before this uh, if else we we find even I showed you. See me exactly correct. It's variable in variable only console dot log is there. You see the example for that console dot log message. The console dot log is in a uh, category of variables. So examples is like this. Let's you know your code is running. Console dot log is alive. It's alive. Look, it's we are writing a message in this. We are writing a message, right? We are we have to write a message only. Okay. So guys, I just put it at two commas and I wrote game state. So look, your full. See, this is just a message, guys. This is just a message. This is only a message. Now I'm gonna write hello everyone. Just see, hello everyone is coming. So this is very good, and I love this. So game state if. Okay, so okay. Next one, k one dot x is equal to world dot mouse x. K one dot y is equal to mouse dot y. What is meaning of that means k one ah uh, like knife wants to move in mouse the uh, in a uh, x position and even y position. See, it's moving in x and even the y. Right. So for that we are writing. Next one spawn fruit spawn monster. We are calling a group name. For that group, there will be a one name, right? So for that, we have wrote spawn fruit spawn monster. Okay. So next one, if k one dot is touching, if k one dot is touching, like uh, k one means knife. Okay. If knife is uh, touching the fruit group, then the fruit group will be destroyed. I will be telling you a short story. Okay, we have wrote your code, but I'll say you this in short story. Okay, the if a uh, knife is touching the fruit group, then the fruit group will be destroyed. Then the score will be adding one plus one. Then the sound will be coming. So for that we are writing a play sound. Then uh, suppose if the knife is touching the monster group, 
the game should be end and the game over the background should be become as a true and the uh, play sound or that the sound will be coming just game over like that it would come in so that's the thing now you will be understanding that i said you in this story so what is meaning of that means we are writing if statement like if condition this is the condition guys this is the condition and this is the statement okay guys so suppose the knife is touching the fruit group means the fruit group should be destroyed so we should not write only the destroy uh, we have to write even destroy each means destroy each means everything will be destroyed and this code will be adding one see guys now uh, uh, the knife is going to touch one fruit see and uh, i think even you can also hear the sound for you see i'm going to touch one apple see even score and the sound understand so that is it okay then the sound is also coming okay next one if k1 dot is touching the monster group then the game state should be in end and the game over that visible is equals to true then the play sound the sound should be coming as game over okay so for that uh, we are writing like statement like this okay at what statement we are writing suppose the uh, most if the knife is touching the monster group the uh, it will the game state will be end and everything what we wrote in the game state it will work everything we have to write only in just single line no need to write this one k1 no need to write this all just take this much and no need to copy at all just write game state is equals to end then all what all we wrote in the game state then all it will be working in here okay then game over dot visible is equals to true first we was putting as false right because it's not show but when the game state was there uh, it ended means this game over will be coming as a background and even the sound like game over let's play the game come see i'm going to touch i'll even touch the apple see i'm going to touch one monster no i'll not touch i have to be safely Oh, okay. Oh, I touch this. Then the game over. It's the game. So very good. I love this. Let's write the coding for more. So guys, we finished now till the sixty-two. Now we are gonna start from sixty-three. Okay. So else, if game state is equals to is equals to is equals to end. Okay. It's the same thing. Game state for end. We are giving. So K one. dot x is equals to 200 k1 dot y is equals to 200 then fruit group a uh, fruit group dot destroy each then the every fruit will be destroying and monster will be destroying and the velocity fruit group dot set velocity each x each monster group dot set velocity x each means we are given as 0 0 y because it should not move right so for that only okay So guys we finished it till some seven well it's really good guys now what is meaning of draw spaces is very very many many it's very main thing you all uh, some students what will be doing is everything will be writing very clearly very goodly but one only one line they will not be writing what is that is draw space suppose see i'm going to erase this I'm erase. Okay, so what it will happen? It will show in yellow color background. See why? Because everything has been erased, but only the background will be shown. Right. So now you see. Okay, guys. Next one, eighth line. Fill blue text score plus score one twenty five. 
so the uh, the the score color is in blue color right and uh, even it is adding it we are giving as text as score right so it will show like that only okay and this x and y positions okay so guys now we are gonna move